So listen, welcome to the Select Board Board of Health Sewer Commissioners meeting of March 27th, 2024 at 4.30 in the afternoon. This meeting will be held in a hybrid fashion with the opportunity for both in-person attendance and remote participation. Please note that while an option for remote attendance um, and participation is being provided as a courtesy to public, the meeting will not be suspended or terminated if technological problems interrupt the virtual broadcast unless otherwise required by law. Members of the public with particular interests in any specific item on this agenda should make plans for in-person versus virtual attendance accordingly. The meeting will be held in person in the main meeting room of the Deerfield Municipal Offices. In accordance with Mass General Law, Chapter 30A, anyone intending to record the meeting must identify themselves to our clerk, Trevor McDaniel, and provide their name and address for the record. Thank you very much. Um, I'm calling this meeting to get order at, oh, oh man, right. poor Brenda's got to go. And <laughs> yeah. It's, it's yeah. 4 442. We're going to be quick. So, Brenda. Yes. Um, we're going to have uh, some discussion on road damage costs and uh, potential sources just to start the conversation. And I appreciate you um, staying late to address that with us. Yeah, that no was problem. really nice. Um, so, go ahead. Yeah. So, um, we got our, our grant from the state for $1.58 million. Um, we used some funding that we had left from 2021 storms. Um, you're talking about uh, the 263,049 dollars. So we used 228,799 of that and left the 34,000 that will be our cash match for the grant for the stormwater mapping. Yep. Okay. Set okay. Management. Um, so we, uh, so I did uh, both of those entries. What we have that we've spent through today that wasn't covered by those sources is four hundred and eighty-five thousand two hundred and seventeen. I rounded up four hundred and four hundred eighty-four eighty-five two seventeen two seventeen. Now, when I last talked to Kevin about this last week, um, he believed that there might be fifty to sixty thousand dollars more in invoices that will be coming in from work that's either that was either in the prog process or had been completed. Okay. Now as of today he hasn't gotten any more in, uh, invoices, but um one of their main contractors I think is is on um vacation. So so what we're looking at is like 525 ish. Um well, I was I was uh, four eighty five plus fifty to sixty. Oh, so let's yeah, let's round it up to sixty, just in um, case. Uh, five yeah, five forty five, five forty five. Okay, and um, and so uh, and you pointed out uh, another source that we can use, another fund that's been there uh, for um, those kind of. Um, emergency spending uses. And so if we take that out of there. What is, what is that? What, uh, that's the, the EWP, EWP donations. Donation at the bottom here. Okay. It's 28,263.27. So if we clear out that account. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, if, if we clear that out, that'll leave us with 456,954 plus the 60,000 that Kevin thought we would continue to spend but, so that's that brings us back to five hundred and sixteen thousand nine fifty four. Okay. Now. Now, Mike, I I'll I'll bring okay. up your your concern. Yep. So um, I know there's concern that there's going to be more that we're going to have to spend between now and the end of the fiscal year. So I was going to suggest that maybe we think about using six hundred thousand out of stabilization to um, appropriate for that. And then you'd have an additional, what is it, 84,000 that right. you you could use if you absolutely need to. And if you don't need to, then it'll just go right. into free cash. Right. And if we want to put it back into stabilization in the fall, we could, if yep. that's if that's left over. Um, we, we can do any kind of road work with that funding, right? 
it, 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 it's yeah. still related to the emergency. Okay. Yep. It's still related to the emergency. Um, so my, my biggest concern is that like, we still don't know how much we're spending. Like it, 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 I still don't have a solid figure that Hawks is this much. This is this much depot road is this much and we are done. Well, we've, we've, the problem is it just keeps creeping like, right. Oh, we're going to spend another 50. Oh, there might be another 60. So, so when Kevin went through his list of what still needed to be done, um, we had some invoices in hand for Hawks road already. So we, we paid those with this last warrant. It was about 65,000. Right. Um, some of that work is intended to be done through chapter 90. So the paving of that road, um, right was going to be chapter 90 funds. So so that that pulls back some of some of what they would have spent through this emergency funding. As far as the other roads go, I I don't know where those are at exactly. We're talking about McClellan and Depot, I think. Right. It just it just keeps going on and on and on. And we'll take another load of dirt. We'll take another load of stone. We'll take another no, thing. And I want a finish. I know. Yeah, so, I so anymore unless it's authorized by this select board that this costs this much money and we are agreeing that that needs to be done. And I want to be done and, and a cap on it. Well, and if we put that cap of 600,000 on there, th that can't be overspent. It just still feels like that's higher than, um, I know it is higher it, intentionally as we had talked. I get right, that. Right. Um, I just feel like, you know, Crossroad will show up and then there'll be more stuff. It's just, there's always. Well, and and maybe at this point we say, okay, instead of fixing these roads the way we'd like to fix them, we're just going to have to band-aid them to get to get well, to I that. Well, I think, the, that I think McCollin and, and Depot were both a band-aid because they're they're sloughing in. He was just going to stabilize it. But I, I wanted a number. I want to be able to go to Joe and Natalie and say, this is what we've spent now that's not covered by you. And and so we can get our, um, app. you know, they know the funding amount that has been spent so that when they uh, had distributed the last five million, um, we get a little bit of it. I don't know how much we're going to get, so but- we should get another payout and both Natalie and Joe feel that way, but I want them to end because we need to say, this is what we've paid out in emergency. And, and this is what you need to pay us back. So it, so we've paid out some stuff out of the warrant just signed. Yeah. Are there other bills kind of still waiting to get sent to us? Well, I would say so at this point. Um, and that's what Kevin I feel mentioned like every... some, some specific ones, and then he had some ballpark figures, which, right. like I said, and added I to the 60. Ballparks. Added up to the yeah. 60,000. Yeah. yeah, I I'm think done probably with ballparks. To, the only way we're going to solve this problem is to say stop all work. Right. Send in all the bills that we've spent so far, and then come to us with plans that have dollar figures attached to them. And then we'll agree, and then you'll do the work. And I feel like that's what we did a month ago. We did and that then, a month and ago. And then it just it kind take. of keeps going. Okay. And I'm I'm just done. I want to be specific that we are done spending money on any road work, period. I don't yeah. care what it costs or what, what we should or it would be smart to do. I, it'll be smart to do if I know it costs twenty thousand or fifty thousand, and we've decided the funding source for it. Then it'll be smart to do. But ballparks and we're almost there, and I don't know, and we're almost close. I'm done with that. I want a solid figure, and I want to put a cap on it, and I want to stop work until we know exactly how much we have spent, which I have right now, and how much is still coming in because I feel like we're always caught in this. Yes, we paid that. There's still the contractor's got to send in some. We're always in this fuzzy area of going, well, where is it? What is the final number, period? Well, we we are a month before town meeting. Yeah. We're not going to know anything about that last amount before then, are we? Uh, that, no. that, that the state is going to distribute. Well, so, uh, yeah, I don't think so. But no. I want to be able to to advocate for us. And I, I can't when I keep when we're still spending. That's right. The thing. Well, yeah, two things about that, Carolyn. One is we got to if we're going to be made whole, we need another eight hundred twenty thousand dollars based on a two point four million dollar expenditure. So, you know, 
we are pretty clear about what we need. From well, I, th I think um, maybe not going to get made whole though. I was going to say this sixty thousand brings us to a total of about two point five, uh, two point three five three, is is what I had figured. Now, for some reason, um, I had the figure in my mind of two point four, mm -hmm. um, but Kevin just well, sent me an email and said, "Well, that should be just two point eight, right?" And I said, "No, no, no, no it's like no. two point three five three." So. Um, we so what, said two four. What, that what was our have, max. What did you have for your numbers, Brenda? For for what additional so, money? Yeah, we, well, total expenditures. So uh, I had two point three five three with the fifty. Uh, excuse me, the sixty thousand included in there. That's still hanging out. That's that we know we don't have invoices for yet, but I think it's work that's been committed. Um, did you did you see the email from John? Uh, that said, this is what we have left on Hawks and their main guy is on vacation until right the end of the month. Yeah. yeah. So until next week. But so, it also said in that that his son's out there. Okay. At least for one of the weeks. Okay. I think the son was also going on vacation, but um, but I, Trevor, you know, raises a good point. We we did we thought we did this a month ago, and apparently we didn't. But we told them to stop working without actually having estimates. And somebody doesn't want to take no. I get that. Um, I, but if you if you remember back to the January meeting, I think the figures that were thrown out at that meeting were somewhere between 2.2 .2 and 2.4 million. Yes. And, and so we're still within that if, yes. if, right. if, that's, um, if that's it. Yeah. Right. And I'm yeah. okay with that. I so just... what do you want me to tell them? I just want an answer of what else is left to spend. And I want a quote on it. Like, I want to know that it's not roughly 60. It's not roughly anything. It's how much did is Morosky or whoever quoted us to finish the work that needs to get done. And what, what we, I have what we've spent already, the 2.353. And that includes, that includes the 60 you're saying or no? Yeah. The two that includes the 60. Includes the 60 that we think, because we have right now, um, right. we're thinking what we need to borrow is five, uh, 456, 954 plus the 60. So around 516, we were thinking we would pull 600 from general because that's going to cover everything and the unknowns and would leave some money for emergency yeah so repair. so right now, as at the end of February, our general stabilization is 1.468. So you pull six hundred thousand out of that, and that leaves us leaves us with eight sixty eight. So almost yep. nine hundred thousand. I think that still leaves us in in halfway decent shape. Yeah. Yep. Um, and then I feel like that extra eighty something would be there in case there's like in case like between now and the end of the year, there's something that needs to happen, or we felt like, hey, it's smart to do this culvert or something, um, Hawks, we should do something here or some sort of culvert or some McCollum farm takes more to stabilize than we think. There would be some flexibility there without having to go back to town meeting or having to wait the whole building season to do. So that makes sense to me. I just want to make sure that we are not taking on any new projects and we're not and we we know exactly what we need to spend on Hawks, Depot and the other. Exactly. And it may be off by 10,000 or something like that. I get that. Like you need an extra load of rockets. You mm -hmm. don't really know until it's all done, but right. we need some sort of like, just want to be done with it. It's been a nightmare of a year and we spent so much money. So um, I guess that involves probably a discussion with Kevin and John. Yeah, right? it will. Yeah. 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 I think they're in the right ballpark too. I'm I not think, saying I they haven't so. done. I think yeah. they've said what they were going to do. Yeah. I just want s stability and like a guarantee that we're not tackling anything else. We know we're not going to exceed this number. And that's that. I don't want mission creep. Right. Yeah. Not now, that they're doing that. I just, it can, it can get away from us. And I just want to be really on this number to be done with it. Now, the other question is we have a million to, 36 or 15 in ARPA funds. The ARPA funds have to be under contract by December 31st. What, what did you say for number ARPA? It's 1 million right here. 
1,236,415. Okay. And, and that might've, that might've been before. Yes. So we just paid a $14,000 bill for the Leary lot. Uh, we I saw that warrant. in the warrant. Yep. yep. So take 14,000 okay. out of that. Yep. All right. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. These are as of uh, February 29th. Okay. So 14 more thousand. Right. Okay. And so I'll have an updated uh, report for you, hopefully by uh, the first of next week. No, 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 that's fine, Brenda. Yeah. But what my concern is that that has to be under contract. Right. But it doesn't need to be spent until 20, December of 26. But it has there to be under to contract. Be, yeah. It has to be under contract. That's why I was concerned about it, those bid docs. When, when are we ready to do the bid docs? So that was why I gave you a little guff last week. Because I know, I know that it needs to be under contract. Yeah. So we are not ready to go out to bid. There's some outlying things that have to be finished. So I talked to Chris about them yesterday. Yeah. He's out today and tomorrow. I'll try to talk to him on Friday because he's been following up with Jeff. Yeah. Some of these bid changes do affect timeline. Um, so I would like him to be able to dig into that with Jeff because mm -hmm. we got to have a contract. You have to go through the bid process. And then right. once you sign the time. construction, there's, there's more than one thing going on here. So- right. You know, whatever we need to spend for the Leary lot, we need to have it under con under contract by the end of December. And we don't really have a solid number on that yet because we're using we some grant money. That's part of it. Big grant money. And then we've got our match for that. Well, well, and, well, and you have the, don't forget the MVP is a match too. Mm -hmm. Right. That's so the state funding. So Carolyn's thinking you aren't going to use as much of the ARPA money for right. the Leary lot as, as you originally thought, right? Right. Because, yeah. because the... Um, the green infrastructure is paid by the MVP. And then then we have all this extra money from, we, we have all the uh, uh, Eversource reimbursements. And for, the EVIP grants. and Yeah. And we have some, but we're still paying for some of that. You know, it's not 100%. Well, yeah, I was going to say, so you don't have the grant in hand yet. So right now, any of those expenses are still going against our right. primary line. Right. 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 So I'm he's also working on be, contract documents. I won't, with I'm not saying that we wouldn't be spending ARPA money, but ultimately, when you look at the 2.4 million and whatever the MVP amount is for green infrastructure, what was that? It was 300 and something. Oh, I, was, I was, okay, I was going to say 243 plus the 90,000 for the 2.0. I, I can't remember exactly. Yeah, so yeah, don't, don't but it, me. Yeah. There, it's, it's a couple hundred thousand at least. And then, so... Really, what is there left to spend on? I mean, you need a you need a breakdown in the same way that you just mentioned from yeah. John and yeah. um, Kevin. You need a breakdown from Chris and Chris. Yeah, like, he like, didn't mention that to me. He's he has working. it all listed, but yeah. I think until he gets the actual grant contract, he yeah. won't know exactly. He won't what know the exactly what is. it is. I know, no. I know, <laughs> but the, but totally, it's it's got to come out less than what we were anticipating before. That was my concern. I, I still think we're going to end up spending 300 ish, but not 500 and something. Right? I don't know. We don't, don't know. And, and if you're going to commit funds to that, you, you run the risk. If those things don't get taken into account, you but, run the risk of having to go back to the town. No, not if you're on Arbor funds. What I'm, my concern, what I want to make sure is that before we pull money out of um, our ARPA, no, before we pull it out of the, um, Stabilization. Stabilization. stabilization that we look at what we're going to do with our ARPA money because that has to be committed. Oh, so, I see. And then if we get reimbursement from the state for additional, say, additional, you know, they, that five million in the payout, we get additional amount. We can decide what to do with it at that point. But right. I, I'm, we have to spend this ARPA money, okay? Mm -hmm. And it. It, to me, we, I think Tim can get us a, you know, uh, architect that we could give us a contract, and that would take care of some of it for the 1888. Mm -hmm. But we, I don't, and I'm not sure we can get anything else under contract. And so I just want to instead of make money sure out, we're not going to yeah, waste those funds. Taking yeah, out of stabilization, let's just make sure our ARPA money, we could use that temporarily to cover the. Um, I just don't think we're going to get a payout. What exactly is the legal definition of under contract? And is there any other way, for instance, that we can do extra road paving? Signed, um, signed. Well, signed document right. is under contract. Right. Yep. 
That's what I heard was this, right. it has yeah, to exactly. be a signed So contract. we're in our third month. We have nine months left. We have to be very prudent about not losing the opportunity to spend the ARPA money. Right. But we're not going to resolve that tonight. So. No. Oh, I know. Right. I know. I just want us to throw it out there that that that's hanging over our head. Yeah. Are you still thinking maybe we spend the um, ARPA money on the um, on the roads? Yeah, I'm saying that's an easy so way we to have spend. To put in a, okay. That's an easy way to spend the ARPA. It is an easy way, but you have a day, today, to make a decision about your warrant. Right. I have to be emphatic about this. No. <laughs> because we took the still... article to, to take money from stabilization to use towards the Leary lot off the table in the last go round of the warrant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we would have to put it back on and open yourselves up to... Why would you would take it? We, you told me to take it off because at the well, at the time the plan was to spend because we got the approval for the ARPA. Yeah, because we got approval because, to use our because we can in fact use the ARPA to be the cash match for the right. federal grant. That's why that article came right. Up. Yeah, and I agree with that. But I'm saying there's still this big chunk of ARPA money that's so not accounted for. Wasn't the original um, warrant item? sufficiently vague to say stabilization, blah, 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 and other. It was, we actually changed it after Lisa told us in a meeting to change it. It was oh. appropriate, transport, or otherwise provide. Yeah, so, so that gives right. you a lot so of you leeway. Into so that leeway. Right. You could change your mind and use ARPA. Right, so. But uh, a specific, I, I, maybe I wasn't clear, Tim. Um, a specific article asking for Leary Blot no, I'm not talking about the Leary lot. So we, we are using ARPA on Leary lot. Right. But instead of my, in my mind, we were, because of the grant that we, a federal grant we had, instead of saying 500 or 600,000 of our ARPA money was going to the Leary lot, it's going to be much less. Isn't there a way to have these things on the warrant article without getting into the minutia of which dollar is coming from which pot? I mean, yes. we, we have we total discretion over ARPA. So why are we even mentioning right. ARPA we, in a warrant article? You don't have not. to. You, it, it's not. So it's not. is the Leary Lot article still in the uh, warrant? No, okay. I took it out. Why? Because you told me to take it out. Because I did? You, the board at the last meeting told me to take it out. Because, we, because you weren't we're planning use on ARPA using map. stabilization to fund our ARPA map. Or yeah. fund our Leary lot match. Yeah, that was that was the only that reason, was the reason we had the is article that, in that, there. Is in the that first still place. the case? We're not going to use. We we know that we have MVP money. We know that we have ARPA in the back of our pocket. Right. So okay, we don't need to have it on the warrant. We can stop talking about it. Well, I guess the, my only reason for bringing this up was that, um, and maybe we have enough to do both. Was that if we were unsure if we were going to get 1888 under contract for ARPA, would it be better to spend? the road money out of ARPA. ARPA and pay it off and then have money for the Leary lot and then have to go to um, general stabilization for our match for the 1888. I'm just trying to figure out which one's safest, but. Then we know, should. I like, mean, if we, if we reach the point where we're worried that we're not going to be able to spend the ARPA money, that's when we should have this discussion. Well, I, I mean, think that's where we're getting close. I, but I, I, we've got nine months a, left in the year. But it takes a while to get. Stuck. Yeah, I, and I don't know that you're really prepared to. I mean, I think some more thought has to go into it before you. Can well, you right. need to make know your timelines for procurement right. that goes along with getting these contracts signed. But right. it's not, and that's part of the issue is we don't have we have a template contract from the feds, but we do not have a final contract from. Them. Yeah. And so it's holding us up somewhat. And Chris has been working really You're hard. About he has been. Again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, but, he's yeah. been working really hard. Specific uses for ARPA funds. We should be able, I don't know why it would take four months to spend ARPA money legally. If we make a decision as a board and, and we decide to pave some more roads, I don't know why it should take that long. That's fine. I, I was thinking we were just keeping it for that building. I know that's our intention, but it, it, but in an emergency. The rest of the funds, because right. you have not taken a vote to commit all of the funds. Correct. If you take a vote to commit the other funds, for instance, use five hundred or six hundred thousand dollars to pay the roads off, then you don't even have to have an article for the roads. Right. On the warrant. Right. 
what you might want to consider doing is what Trevor mentioned, which is trying to balance the, what can we do right now to use the funds and get it out the door, get it done. Well, that was what I was suggesting is because I don't want to, I'd rather take our money that we have to spend in the next few months rather than take money out of stabilization. That was where I was going. Now, can we take ARPA money and replenish stabilization or do we have to spend it on something physical? I, I don't think I don't think you can put it in stabilization. I think it has to be a specific project, but I don't, I, I I but, yeah, know, I don't know for sure. It's a good thought, though. You know, can we um, go out for road projects that uh, um, yes. can be put under contract? Sidewalks on Elm Street. Yes. Um, you know, so... I think we need to have a meeting just about this question. Mm -hmm. I, I I think that I okay. Uh, I was at a conference, my annual conference here, fairly recently, last, last week or the week before. Um, there are some communities that put their ARPA funds into their general fund revenues and let it fall into free cash. Okay, I don't know that that's kosher, but. Right. We we did we did select revenue replacement, so we right. have a lot more leeway than that's the whole idea. Uh, another community that yeah. that couldn't do that. So. Right. Right. So I think if we're gonna we want to understand when we need to act and what we can do in order to keep the ARPA money, we need to have somebody figure out. Maybe it's Christopher Dunn. I don't know who to drill down on what ARPA rules are. And then have a meeting just about ARPA, so we make sure we spend every dollar of it. Yep, yep, I agree with that. My, my, um, I guess my feeling is um, to pull the money from general stabilization to to do the roads. It's it's uh, that's what we planned. That's what we said we were going to do, and um, we have a little more flexibility on ARPA later on to do some things. But I. I was I'm a bit nervous about spending the ARPA on the roads because then you um, when we need to go to general stabilization to do the project that we want to do with our ARPA, then it's a big, oh, maybe we'll get it. Maybe we won't. We have a lot more control over what we're doing now if we spend it with ARPA. So I think we pull it from general stabilization as we told the residents we would because we're rescinding that vote to borrow. And the cost of that is pulling it from general stabilization. It frees up the, the ARPA money, but we do need to get busy focusing on getting that stuff under contract, whether it yep. be the 1888 building, we know we're doing the Leary lot. And then we figure out um, if, we, if, if it's getting close, let's do some sidewalks and stuff and get that done. Right. And you know, um, another thing I'm interested it. about ARPA is can we spend it on, you know, buying heat air source heat pumps mm -hmm. oh We've yeah got a bunch of projects out there anything. that are going to need air, air source heat pumps we, we can, can buy it. those we can get them it. under contract yeah. in, in a couple of weeks mm -hmm. you know even if they're not available they're under contract yep um so yeah, yeah. no we can we can it's our choice how we right. want to spend so it. maybe after town meeting we have a meeting on yeah. offer Is yeah that, the idea? that would be a good idea yeah and and tom scanlon was going to get a definitive answer for us on on the signed contract okay right. but i understand lisa me has, has contract. already said it has to be a signed I, contract um, so yeah i'm I, I, we have six million dollars from the healthy soils you know implementation money and we have to have it under contract by we were told we have to have it under contract by okay right. december 31st i mean signed contract i mean in reality worse comes to worse you know, there are parts of, um, I don't see why we couldn't spend ARPA on the parking lots for the library or, you know, any of that stuff. Yeah, we I have mean, a lot more flexibility. So, but do, but I, I think you got a good idea, Trevor. Let's yep. do this, if, you know, do this the way you suggested, stabilization, and then um, have a meeting to, when we have all the rules and, reg, you know, rights of the, the ARPA world at our fingertips, maybe Tom can provide guidance from the accountant's perspective or an auditor's perspective then we then we know what are our options to quit well, we, by then we should know what right. the leary lot dollar amount is so that we have a, a solid dollar amount oh definitely i i just i'm just concerned because it yeah we're going to be spending less than we anticipated right yeah. and and i and that we're moving forward on the leary lot that will be under contract i'm not worried about it but Right. I'm worried about the rest. Right. And that sure. was my kind sure. of concern. Sure. 
Yeah. Um, Brenda, I know you have to leave. Thank you so much for staying. You're welcome. Yeah, and we can have more discussion, you know, as as right. as time allows as we go forward. Um, we do have another month until town meeting. So, and and if you decide at town meeting, if the if the if the um, residents vote to use the stabilization money for the roads, and then we get some money in for the roads, well, it'll just fall into free cash, and then we can uh, we can put it back into stabilization right. um, in the fall. So, yeah. just a okay. thought. Well, that would be what the game plan would be. So nine. Sure. So Article 19 is the one that allows us to pull from general stabilization. Yes. And yeah. that would be a two-third vote, correct? Yes. 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 I just haven't written it in. I had a question. Yep. It is a two-thirds vote. Trevor. Okay. Okay. So that's where you're suggesting putting the 600,000 figure. Yeah. Out. Yeah. I was just thinking that gives you a little leeway in case it ends up being more than what, what Kevin was thinking, or yep. if there was an additional problem that, that creeped up. Yep. Um, I know Do you want that you published more, in the but... warrant. That's my question. What's Do that? you want it published in the warrant? Because a lot of times we'll put a sum of no, money. It can, uh, be, I think it can be in the motion. I think we, yeah. I think we can wait. Yep. Um, put it if it's settled by then, by the time we have to post I know, the warrant, the more that's one thing. We can put thing. in the warrant, the better, but yeah, it's not on this it's one. Good. But it's not, our, our hands aren't completely tied to I'm, that. I, so. I'm, I would motion. rather wait. Yeah. Okay. okay. So is there any reason why we need to open the warrant or close it? Um, that's, uh, well, I think, why don't you talk to Christopher Dunn? He's got some... He's got one thing he wants to talk to you about, and I know we have to take that vote too. But... Thank you, Brenda. Okay. Thank Thanks, you. Brenda. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yep. you. Appreciate the help. Did we take the library vote first, or? Well, um, because we have to get out of here to go to Skin's meeting. Yeah, is Dan Pilata on though? He's he's on, but he doesn't really need to say. He's anything. on. Oh, so okay. it, it, can, he's here in case there's questions. So okay, so what we can. Can just... I just look at the? Thing Tim, I quick. think Tim was short. Sure. Do you want to go over it or do you yeah. have any questions or pointers? So this is a 2.3, uh, 12.3 right. bid. So at the meeting yesterday, um, P3, Dan Pilata and um, Phil O'Brien from uh, Johnson Roberts presented the budget. Yeah. Um, the, the bid came in higher than they anticipated. So they made some adjustments. They lowered, um, they lowered the, uh, <clears throat> The both the OPM and the architect's um, salary line. They okay. hope through um, some as the project gets underway two months from now. They they expect that there'll be some clarity about some issues that were under contingency, mm -hmm. um, and that they will then fully refund, fully fund these line items, um, and you know then it's just a there's a, an LED LED submission that we're going to have to write, which will give us another $100,000. But the recommendation at the end of the discussion with the building committee was that we should uh, move forward with the project. And did, um, who was the, uh, who was the winning bid? Oh, um, D.A. Sullivan. D.A. Sullivan, yeah. D.A. Sullivan was the only bidder. bidder. And what, what was his bid? The, um, is it the twelve three or something else? No, it, it, oh, he would be less because right. you have all the other stuff. So, right. Yeah, it was yeah. one point two over. Yeah, it was uh so ten thousand nine hundred and ninety-eight. Got it. Uh, ten million ten million nine ninety eight thousand. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that was one point four over what we estimated. Did they did, what you're approved for? Did Dan say um one point, yeah. Did they did they kind of mention an area that there were some things that he was not at liberty to to discuss because it's in yeah. color it's a, a contract in place they right. can't have any discussions about this apparently okay um, but there are some low hanging fruit that he knows exists that will within the first two or three months of the contract be taken into account okay um, yeah and. Uh, they took out, uh, I think, a hundred thousand from the art, from the construction administration, and a hundred thirty thousand from um, P three. Yeah, P three and 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 Johnson Roberts. Right. One of the things they were planning to have a P three person on site every day, apparently, and right. what they're going to do is go 
go back to the what the state requires, which is once a week meetings. Okay. You know, and, and if it's able to, if they're able to go back to, in in times of mm -hmm. you know, specific concern about us, a portion of the project, be there more often. Heavy up on that and lighten up the yeah. other one. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> and they also mentioned that uh, they worked. Uh, Robert, Johnson Roberts and P three worked together on enough projects to know that the their the change orders there are not a lot of change orders good. because the project is not well designed good. to begin with. Um, but there was an absolute commitment that we will make as as he said at the annual town meeting we will build a library for you know no more than twelve point three million. And the owner's expense area um, had some adjustments, it looks like, as well. Yep. So there's things that he's going to want to try to bring back if he could. What is F, F, and E? Yeah. I can't remember I mean, what you call Dan, you want to talk about F, F, and E and Geotech? Geotech is essentially, uh, I believe, the heat source pumps and stuff like that, but Dan's, yeah. the, Dan's the expert. Is he still here? Hold on. Um, so the update was taken out. No, I don't see. Okay. This one is other. I just wonder how much. Oh, the the IP was taken out. Furniture, pictures, and equipment. Yeah, oh, the IT were taken out. Yeah. All right. So mm -hmm. those are things that, but not the IT that's like integral in the building part. No. Okay. Well, that's so uh, I was wondering what owners, owners and design was like 700. That's contingency. Oh, contingency. So we brought the contingency way down. Yes. Um, in the temporary that's space. because of the, their experience with each other and they yeah. have see a lot of change orders. Okay. Christopher Dunn's having some, he can't hear us. Can't hear us at all? I wonder if anybody can. Chris, can you get on your screen? Yeah, we're muted, that's why. Okay, you're good. Can you hear us now, Chris? Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, am I on? I couldn't actually hear what uh, the end of the discussion was there. Yeah, you're not very loud. Uh, can you hear me now? I can hear you, yeah. And we'll have to deal with this later. Right. Somebody has actually threatened to contact the ADA Compliance Bureau of the state because of this issue. Yeah. Yeah. I so. believe it's an issue. It's a serious issue. Yeah. Every time we come in, it's all different and nobody can hear anything. If you can speak loud, Chris, that'd be great. Yeah. Can you hear me okay if I'm speaking like this? Yes. Okay, great. <laughs> so uh, we received seven bids for the Senior Center Feasibility um, Study. Uh, actually, I can't hear you. <laughs> Sorry, Christopher. Again? Check, check. That's a little better. Yeah, that's better, Christopher. Okay. One, two, three, testing. <sighs> yeah. I can hear you a little bit better. At least you can hear us. Ours is loud. So. Check, check. Back to a phone thing. Works so much better. <laughs> Yeah, Every okay, go we... ahead, Chris, best you can. Okay, all right. Uh, yep, yeah, so we received uh, seven bids for the Senior Center Feasibility Study. 
Uh, as a reminder, this is the study funded through the grant from the Division of Local Services, the Efficiency and Regionalization Grant. Take a vote. No, we can't. Okay. Sorry, do you, do you need to take a vote? Uh, we were in the middle of discussion about the library, but um, I would like to take a vote tonight. Okay. Go ahead, make a motion. I'd like to make a motion to accept the recommendation of, is there specific language I have to say? Because I want to say it correctly. We are awarding the email. Yeah. So my suggest my suggested language would be um, the award the Tilton Library building an addition and renovation project to DA Sullivan as the lowest responsible and eligible bidder awarding the base bid only. And I'll make that motion. No second. Is there any further discussion? All right. Oh, Dan is here, but oh, sorry. Right. It sounds like I got here at the right time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, all those in favor? Tim Hilchey, aye. Trevor McDaniel, aye. Carolyn Ness, aye. Okay. So we the, thank you, Dan. Thanks the, award, you. the base amount has been awarded, Casey. Yep. Okay. Dan, can I just ask a quick question while you're here? Of course. What's FF and E? FF and E is furniture, fix, fixture, and equipment. So we have no money for furniture. So we will have money for furniture, but we're not going to have money for furniture coming out of the gate. Okay. So our plan is our plan is to replenish that as we're going along. Okay. Um, and you felt like the Construction administration, you'd still cover it. I think Tim said that you guys have worked together and you feel like there's enough there to cover it. We're 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 gonna work together and 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 get through this. It's really tight. Uh I I'd be lying to you to tell you if it, it wasn't. Right. It's tight, but it's doable. And uh, you know, the the team uh is gonna finish the task we started. Is there any aspect of the bid you can discuss that uh, came in higher than we thought? And well, you might not be able the to general the general bid itself came in higher than we thought uh, due to the fact that we only had one bidder. Right. Uh, I mean, we didn't have any competition, and this is a problem for the Pioneer Valley. This is not a Deerfield issue. Know. This is not the architect did a bad job, or the OPM did a bad job, or the building committee did a bad job. It's it, we're a victim of the circumstance of uh, where the valley stands right now. This yeah. is not going to go away in the short term. Right. Um, I, Dan, I just had one question on the lead submission. Um, by zeroing that out, does that going to be a problem getting that submitted? No. So we we talked about replenishing the funds, uh, Madam Chairman. Um we know that there's areas that we can replenish the funds uh, after after negotiating with the contractor after the project's been awarded through uh, various methods and means of uh, value engineering um, that we can't do before the bid is awarded. Uh, you know, statutorily, that's that's a no-no. So we're going to sit down as a team and, and work out some uh, ideas that will not change the look of the building or change the program of the booking building. Okay. Get lead back in there to get furniture back in there and to get some okay. of these other items back in there. That was, that was a concern of mine. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Dan. Really All right. To work on this. All right. Thanks, everybody. I guess you Thank don't you, need Dan. anything else. Thank you. Thanks, Tim. Just Thanks. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. I yeah. yeah, appreciate that while he was here. Now we can let, let Christopher Dunn talk. Yes, Chris, <laughs> we are up. <laughs> I I'm sorry about that. I, I I thought I was uh, it was my turn before, but I <laughs> didn't realize you hadn't voted yet. So, uh, yeah. Wow. So real, uh, real quick. Uh, so we received seven bids for the senior senior center feasibility study. Um, they kind of ran the gamut from some firms in Boston. We had one out of state bidder and then uh, one local one as well. Um, so at this point, I've, I've, you know, Andrea Woods from FERCOG has had an opportunity to just go through them really quick um, and make sure that all the needed documents are there. Um, can you hear me okay? I see yeah, two of you. I'm, uh, I'm hearing you now, Christopher. Thank okay. you. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, she did her 
kind of due diligence in terms of looking and making sure that their packages were complete. Um, you know, there's a there's certainly a handful that I would potentially recommend for uh, final interviews. So I think what we were hoping to do tonight is just chat really quick about, um, you know, the formation of some kind of, um, you know, stakeholder group of stakeholders from the three towns who can review the bids and make a determination by early next month uh, as to who we want to award this feasibility study to. Okay. Um, and, you know, the initial thought was, um, you know, invite uh, Jeff Kravitz from Sunderland. Um, I know currently Deerfield or rather Waitley is without a town administrator. So uh, thoughts on who would be good to get from there would be welcome. Um, and then, you know, myself or Casey uh, mm -hmm. on the Deerfield side. Maybe Joyce um, Fortune. Or mm -hmm. Fred. Fred might. Well, Joyce, Joyce is on the boo. Yeah. Well, would she be able to, I mean, she might. So understand that could put her in an awkward position if she's had, if she's. I see. When you go to award bid. When you I, go I understand. award yeah. and you already have a pre-existing So maybe Fred. Yeah. yeah, we could get Fred. Somebody okay. else who isn't okay. on the South County or City Center Boo. Or something. I don't it could mean. be like yeah. Lynn Sibley. It could be somebody right. that has an interest. That's true. Yeah. Could okay. be a member of the COA. Like That um, might be a good idea too. Yeah. Someone put the COA. Okay. All right. Well, I can I can reach out to Waitley and just say, you know, we're looking for somebody who's not on the boo. <laughs> yeah, who would uh, be good to help us make this determination. So, OK, I can uh, I'll reach out to Jeff and uh, to Waitley tomorrow um, and we'll bring that group together. And I think our goal was to try and award something um, by, I think, April 5th. So that's coming right up. So we'll have to yep. get a move yep. on. But we've got all the documents, so it shouldn't be a problem. OK, thank you so much for your work Excellent. on that. Thanks. It's nice to get. But a few bids. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we've got some choices to make. Choice. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Christopher. Thank All right. You. Thanks, everyone. All, All right. right. What time are you guys got to leave? Um, in 15 minutes. Okay. What else do we need to so get on? Tim brought a point up a few minutes ago. Um and it was in relation to the town meeting warrant. Yeah. Um I did send out, I had gotten some comments from Julie and they brought up a couple of questions. Uh, one of which was we need to address that payroll issue for um, Fair Labor Standards Act mm -hmm. in and finish paying out for that particular need. It's a prior year um, expenditure. So I talked it through with Lisa and she suggested we include it in that article that's got our two prior year bills. Yeah. Um, Do you have a number for it? It's article seven, I think. Oh. Can I can I just ask the if if it's a prior year bill, doesn't it needs to be four fifths? Is that right? It depends. If it's a special town meeting, it's I think if it's special town meeting, it's nine tenths. If it's an annual town meeting, it's four fifths. Okay. That's what I was asking Lisa yep. to, to clarify with me because they're different percentages depending on whether it's a special or an I, annual. If we if we put it in Article Seven, those are prior year bills, right? So all of would, them, all would, of them would be four fifths. That was the reason I was thinking okay. that. Um, right. My concern was whether because it would be language like I have to explain a bit, right? And I have a draft. You can see I've ri I've started to write something. It could possibly get refined a bit. And I don't know what the amount is, but it's not. It shouldn't be a horrible amount. It should be under a thousand. Okay, um, let's just do that. But let's the idea it. was to not have to open the warrant again. Right. Um, we could do it that just way. Just put it right in there. Um, yeah. But frankly, something came up, so the constable question came up. We Which is we're having a hell a heck of a time with constables. And right, Lisa, while you guys were talking about the bid, Lisa sent me an email. Um, so we have a constable that isn't able to work as a constable up until the election because that person's on the ballot. We have another constable whose um, do you, regular work is, is taking it, over is a lot. Somebody more time. we can just appoint. Do you need somebody to come down and get so appointed? So our bylaws seem to preclude that. So we, what do they have we, to be done? What, what do they have to do? There's a potential to make a change in the bylaw to 
address the situation. Lisa was going to look into it. Um, and, what, and the situation is we just need constables to what? Post these or post? No, or you what? need constables to actually monitor the election. Constables okay. monitor the election. They keep the peace, but they also, you but, know, they they sort of evaluate whether somebody's 150 feet away. They, can that be added? They also to, hold the key. They there's various things they can do. Can that be added to this meeting so we fix this by the election or not? I don't. It's a change to a bylaw. I don't think it would fix it for this election. Okay. Um, but it the could fix is what? create. There could be a method to help you create a fix for that election. If, if there was some language that could help you appoint while these people were still in satisfying their terms. I'm still, I'm still confused. It's I mean, very if we have confusing. an issue, do we have a way to fix it or not? Well, Let's the only other way we it. can fix it is to hire um, police officers to act as constables. But the issue with that is it's a detail and there's enough trouble and I'm not putting any words into John's mouth that I'm aware of, but if you have trouble satisfying details if you have trouble getting people to details you could potentially have trouble having paying being able to pay somebody to act as a constable through the detail process so it's just a conundrum it's something but, that Cassie's so worried we could about. automatically just hire a police officer but we couldn't hire a general person it's weird it's weird I, so I Cassie, it was funny that Cassie and I were talking about this I basically told Lisa I didn't think we had time because this is our only opportunity to open to make a change well let's wing it well, I don't uh, say I mean, I, you're gonna do it's it. a I difficult think, position because you've got fix, the bylaw and the statute and they if we don't to have counteract. a fix tonight right there's no fix there's no there's no you should do this right there's no I don't have it let me right. check my email but I don't have a fix from Lisa right this second all right well let's move on then um yeah, I was just I, I think we should just hire this year, hire a police officer. We can get a reserve transfer. Case. Can you, though? Yes. Put it out there. John can put but it out why, there. Why not just get another volunteer? We could put this off to fall. I mean, that's really what Cassie and I said to each other earlier, was we could put it off to the fall and address it, give ourselves time to develop data, give you guys something to work okay. with. But I thought, I thought the concern was, was that there's one person, one person working the whole. That's it. The concern, unless you hire a police officer it's to act. Ten to eight for this election. Yes, and generally you don't want people working. I think more than three or four hours. I think they stagger it. Um, but this is going to keep happening for other elections. I, I don't have a problem fixing it in the fall. But what I'm saying is, we get a reserve transfer to cover the detail costs right. of the police officer, and just get a police officer. That's what we were thinking. Yeah. Essentially, the, the quick, quick and dirty answer is get a police officer. In yeah. the meantime, right. think about how you want to fix it. Right. I, I, Anything yeah. else in the warrant that we need to consider opening and closing for? Um, I don't think you need to consider anything opening and closing on the warrant if you're satisfied with dealing with the FLSA payout in right. that in Article 7. Yep, yep. Um, is, if, if, the I'm, I'm place, if all the articles are set... We can put them anywhere you want as we continue the review process, because there is one thing. Um, so I talked to Lisa the other day and she called me and said, wait a minute, Casey. Don't forget that the AG still reviews a bylaw change, even a general bylaw change. Mm -hmm. That review may not be done by July 1st. So no matter what, we have to vote the class comp. So, okay. so if you want to change the placement of the personnel bylaw, you can. No. Um, it can stay there. It'll stay there. We'll vote it. We'll uh, vote both. Yeah. I didn't think much more placement change was going to happen. No, I think it's fine. I did receive an email, just so you know, uh, from Nancy Maynard about the status of the Tilton Library article. I sent her the draft that Lisa had given me, and I told her that we may need to include some information in the guide. Right. In other words... If you want it to pass, you need to explain what, what they're doing. Right. Yeah. And so... You know, Julie had actually asked me a couple of questions too. Um, and one thing that I think the board and I'm I reached out to um council about this, about some questions that Julie had on the personnel bylaw change article as well. So I reached out and asked if you check, I think I may have blind carbon copied you just so you could see it, and it was around. The finance committee member, their appointee has always been a member. Um, do we want to keep that or change it? That she's just asking questions. Um, and can anyone else 
request a change to policies if we were to change because you go into the personnel bylaw and it outlines how policies are changed. Um, and her question was, can it be anybody besides the personnel board? You could have staff come in and say, hey, there's a problem with this bylaw. Sure. We should. So that's what she's asking. So you may see a few nuances. Is it, is it the select board and the personnel board? That, that usually go through that. That's the intent is to have the select board and the um, personnel board really shepherd that, that stuff. Correct. But if if there was a request, right. you know. Then you could bring it to the personnel board. So I just posed a couple yeah. of questions. Yeah. But other than that, you know, my biggest worry was that FLSA um, payout. Uh, Article 7. So I think right. it's all set. Okay. I mean, Good if work. we had to call a special, we have to call a special. It's happening. Well, we'll anyways. Yes. All right. Blake, we'll like like you had a question? Just. Yes. Do not have a split detail in other words, when they do the school, I don't remember, Blake. Oh. I was thinking about that this morning. And the thing is, that would be your out as far as you know, having to pay it for right. 60 bucks an hour. Right. Right. Yeah. There are two more questions. What about the Dura package of change that you increased four times a day? And now we have a real big yeah, it's getting or people to Or you change run. it to appointed constables. That's the other option. Right now, it says elected in the bylaws. Yeah. You could change we it have, to appointed We have constables. a problem because, you know. Nobody runs. Nobody runs, and then every every year, somebody's up. So that leaves you with just two instead of three. Yeah. All right. It's a nuance. It's a, these are things that we've been asking ourselves internally, Cassie and I. And 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 why and why wouldn't we appoint them? Actually, because we don't have anybody that. I mean, it's really hard to get someone to run. I think a lot of that goes through your town clerk. It's it, it is hard to get somebody to run. If you appoint them, you could actually appoint them from your pool of election workers. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's a bigger pool than than it used to be. So there's. Because I think Cassie's already had some interest from one member of the election yeah. worker group that would be interested in working if she, if that person could. Um, but because we don't, we can't point because the, yeah. the bylaw yeah. says elected, we're stuck. So now we're stuck between a rock and a hard place. And so that's, we sort of floated everything. I said to Cassie, why don't you do some data data collection and see what comes up as my, a good path. Okay. okay. So, um, anything else you guys do? Nope. is there anything else? You guys got a boogie, right? Yeah. yeah, we got another meeting. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Tim Hilchey, aye. Trevor McDaniel, aye. Carolyn Nessai, thank you. Thank you.